Joe Kidd is a 1972 Western starring Clint Eastwood, Robert Duvall and John Saxon. It is directed by Great Escape director John Sturgis. The film centres on this character, Joe Kidd, played by Eastwood, who gets caught up in a dispute between uh, some Mexicans who... Uh, the original owners of the, the land that is kind of around the town, um, and they feel like they've been pushed out by the legal system. Uh, their land has been taken by the legal system and they want it back. So they go to the courthouse, they burn all the documents that show who now owns the land and decide that they're going to take back the land by force. The new landowners, the, the white landowners, led by Robert Duvall, decide that, yeah, they're not going to take this, so they're going to take the land back. And they're going to do so by catching this, this man, played by John Saxon, Luis Charmer, the man who instigated the rebellion. They're going to catch him, bring him to justice. Pro well, justice. They're going to kill him, basically, and take back their land. Joe Kidd, he, he, he starts the film, he's not really on anybody's side, he doesn't care, he couldn't care less quite frankly, he just wants to drink and live his life and have fun and, and whatnot, but once people he knows get hurt, he, he's kind of forced into the battle and he has to pick a side. Now, this film's got a lot of talent involved, really great talent. Now, Acting talent, obviously, Eastwood, Robert Duvall. Rob Duvall's great in this. You know, he, he is in pretty much everything he does. He's such a fantastic actor. Um, it's written by Elmore Leonard, who is, you know, he's, he's, he's a first-class writer. Uh, you know, so a lot of the, the films that I've seen based on his material just feel so dense um, and, and just full of thematic kind of stuff going on. This, this is a guy who really just packs his stories with, with with all manner of things to say. Um, and then you've got John Sturgis, like I say, you know, The Great Escape, uh, Magnificent Seven, uh, Bad Day at Black Rock. So this, this is the guy who, he knows how to make a good film. So when you come to this, seeing that talent involved, I gotta say, it's, it's, it's a, it doesn't quite live up to it. It's a little bit of a disappointment. And that's not to say this isn't a fun film. It is. It is. It's a lot of fun, but it kind of feels a bit generic. If, if you tick a lot of boxes around westerns, particularly Eastwood westerns, this feels like it's ticking those boxes. It feels like, okay, yeah, I've, I feel like I've seen this before in different variations. And that's fine, whatever. I, you know, I always say it's down to the execution. It don't matter if you're doing something that's been done before, just as long as you execute it well. I, th I think this is executed well enough to entertain, but not quite enough to really mean anything afterwards. I watched and reviewed Coogan's Bluff, and that was a film that, again, it adheres to a lot of what you would expect from Eastwood, but I felt like it did go deeper. I felt there's a lot of stuff in that film people kind of miss that it's trying to say, um, where actually it, I went away kind of feeling like it, like it offered something a bit more. Whereas here I'm just like, you know what, ultimately there's, there's, there's no subtext here. Or, or the, there is room for subtext, but it's just not handled in a way that allows that subtext to breathe. Uh, it's just, it just in, at the end of the day, it just becomes a straight-laced Western about Eastwood getting in between two rival factions and proving that he's a badass and, and can sort them all out. And, and that's fun. It's entertaining. But it's not much more than that. I really enjoyed Lalo Schifrin's score here. This, this is someone who has kind of popped up a lot in my recent viewings of Clint Eastwood movies. Um, I, I knew him from several movies before that, but yeah, it, clearly he's worked a fair bit on, on movies starring Eastwood, but his score here is, is quite fun to listen to. It's very much in the vein of your uh, Ennio Morricone kind of scores, but uh, yeah, again, it, it feeds into that kind of expectation of of what you're going to get with an Eastwood Western, which isn't a bad thing, it's just that it, it, that's all it is. I 
feel like the issues that this film is dealing with uh, and the, the, the kind of period and, and everything it's it could do is handled perfectly I would say in a film called Open Range uh, which again stars Robert Duvall um, only on the on the side of the good guys in, in, in that one. Uh, that's a film by Kevin Costner um, and yeah all the way through this I, and I think a lot of that is down to Duvall being in both movies I kept thinking of that film and how that did things a lot better and um, you know this film ends with a with a similarly kind of climatic gun battle and whatnot and, and, and all kinds of carnage going off uh, but yeah like I say when you're watching a film that you're entertained by but it's often making you think of other better films um, yeah I it shouldn't do that really should it? It, it you shouldn't be thinking of other films that are better so like I say this isn't a bad film it's really well shot the music is 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 really great in it the the it's got a perfectly fine story the performances are all good the direction's fine uh, there's, there's nothing about it that is terrible or, or even bad it's just the the one word that kind of jumps out is generic i can imagine myself watching this again in the future like i say i, I was entertained um i don't really have much more to say than that um it's not a bad film it's a good film, it's entertaining, but there's definitely better Eastwood Westerns out there that, that I would rather watch. What about you? Have you seen Joe Kidd? And if so, what did you think about it? Let me know your thoughts on the film down in the comments section below. Please do check out my Patreon and membership programs to see how you can support this channel. Thank you for watching this video and until next time, Cracking.